Hello everyone, it's Dave here from Band of Badgers, and in this What's in the Box at uh, Dungeon Dragons Fray Works, we have the Cobalt Multi-Pack. Now, we've done these before, we've looked at uh, the previous pack, so there's a Cobalt Pack Multi-Pack, and there is an Orc Multi-Pack. Now, in our previous video, you can check it out here, we opened up the Orc Pack. We looked at both boxes, we looked in detail at both boxes, uh, front and back, but we only opened up the Orc Pack. And we had a special request from Dark Autumn Scribe who wanted to see what was inside this box. So, we are now taking requests. So, um, thank you very much, Dark Autumn Scribe. I'm just grabbing my scissors. Thank you very much, Dark Autumn Scribe. Here is your request. We hope, it's, uh, we hope it meets uh, whatever it is you're looking for. But anyway, let's just have a brief kind of zoom in and have a look at these. These are some fantastic looking characters for kobolds. Now these are the frameworks, these are brand new from WizKids. They are due out hopefully anytime March 2022. Uh, there are kind of international delays as we've come to expect now, but uh, yeah, we're, they're, they're hoping for March 2022. Um, and they might even be available for pre-order, we don't know. But uh, have a look at these characters. You get seven in a multi-pack. They are sprue-based models that you have to put together. So you've got to clip them out the sprues, glue them together, then prime them, then paint them. But these, I mean, look at these. The, 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 that's, a, that's a massive scorpion to actually hold up. I love some of these ones. We've got a bucket on the head. Um, so we'll show you the back, but if you haven't seen the other videos, do go check them out. We have a whole playlist full of them at the moment uh, of the first wave of frameworks coming out. There are 32 in total. They range in price from $9.99 um, all the way to $99.99. So all different sizes, heroes, monsters, villains, galore. I love the wooden spoon. <laughs> I wonder if you get two wooden spoons. Um, and that one looks like, I know there's stones, there's a bucket of stones, but it does look like a bucket of popcorn. We'll just have to, uh, we might have to play around with that. And I love this one. I think this one's my favorite. He's got a boot on his head. That's great. So we'll flip around the back. This is what they are. So these are minis with a few variant options in them. Let's try and zoom out just a little bit. There we go. And you can see, where's my pointy stick? Um, you have a choice of, of arms or weapons. And in this pack, you get two of this model. So you could make both variants. You get two of this model here. So you could make, make both of those. You get some extra bits and pieces. So there's some, like, some base decoration. Um, but you have options. So you can have different heads, different weapons, different left arms, different right arms, single arm weapons, or even two-handed weapons. So you can put those all together. So we wanted this to be a fairly quick video. If you want more detail, go check out our other video. But this is especially for you, Dark Autumn Scribe. Let's get into this box. So we, look, haven't even opened it. We're gonna see it at the same time. Oh, okay, so we've got the various packs inside. There we go. Box is empty. Uh, there we go, put it on the side. We have, what we got? Four, five, six, we've got seven frames of sprues in there. There's your little IKEA instructions. Let's crack these open and we can have a look. Straight, I love it again. I, I mentioned this, I think, pretty much every video. I love how they just stack together. I've not really seen that before. Um, but then I don't make models. This is my first time having a go. Um, we're still kind of picking up dates, we're still picking up who our guest painters and model makers are. If you have any requests of people you'd like to see uh, helping us make these models, do let us know. Or if you're just if you if you yourself are a fairly skilled model maker or mini painter and you think that you can teach a bunch of amateurs i mean literally i've never done these before i did these when i was a kid like uh, airfix models planes and boats and things um then uh, please do get in touch maybe we can maybe we can sort you out. there's a scorpion maybe we can sort you out let's zoom in on the quality of that see look you can really see the detail now everything is labeled so you should be able to put these things and that's really small i mean look um, so you should be able to put these, by following the instructions, you put these together. So we have two which are the same. Zoom out a little bit more so you can see the comparison. There we go. So there's our options doubled up. Let's swap those out. Are these going to be the same as well? Yep, so there's our double up options. 
I mean, look, that's a tongue, I think. I think it's a tongue. No, it might not be. It might be the sling. Cleaver. There's the wooden spoon. So there you go. You get two wooden spoons. Let's have a look at the other pack. So the other pack is the instructions. Ugh, sorry about the noise. There we go. Let's get rid of that. Don't need it. So here's all our clear mini bases. Our little baggy. Cool. Right. Yeah. Oh, we have a bunch of uh, things. What have we got? Oh, cobalt one. Two, three, four, five. Now there are seven in the box. So as we've already seen, two of these frames you can build twice, or at least the variants. And let's just take a look at one. This is the bucket head cobalt, who is now and forever known as bucket head. There we go. So we've got, there's the body, there's the legs, tail, put the feet on. So you can see how it all kind of, you, you probably, it's, it's small pieces, but that doesn't mean it's going to be, won't take as long. Um, you know, you've got to put these pieces together, but you've got to glue them, hold them. I, I tend to use super glue, but you can use plastic glue, model glue. Put the head on, arms. Yeah, so this is where you're going to left or right view, or you can mix and match, whatever you want. Um, so you've got two single arms, or you've got the double arm. This looks like a like a fire poker. You can wield two-handed. And as you finish picture, that's what it should look like. If it doesn't quite look like that when you finished, you've probably done it wrong. <laughs> I'm, I'm waiting to see what mine are gonna turn out like. Uh, and then you've got some, I guess it's just kind of base decoration uh, or maybe dungeon decoration, I'm not sure. And on the back is blank. Now at the top, you've got a number of cobalt and a list of tools. So glue, knife, cutter, a mold line remover. I'm not sure what it is. I think that's kind of like um, like a sanding stick, I think. Oh no, because I said there's a flexi sander there. So I have no idea what that is. And a primer. Um, these are not primed. You will have to, um, when you uh, prime it, before you paint it, you have to prime it. I just noticed it, like, there's a bit loads of hold. There's loads of treasure on that one. It's upside down. There we go. So I thought that was a mound, like a stony mound, and this totem coming out of it. But actually, I think it's, I think that's your totem, and it's going to stick to a pile of treasure, pile of gold. That's quite cool. I like that. So there we go. Um, so have a quick whiz through the other ones. They're pretty much the same as what we've seen before. Get them right way right round. There we go. So you've got extra base. What have we got? There's like a bag. There's, oh, there's a hammer. That's quite nice. Oh, it's quite strong. I mean, this is, obviously that's not attached to anything, but these things are solid. The definition is really, really good. I mean, these are cobbles as well, for this, so they're fairly small, but you can see the definition on that. Try and get, try and get one of the heads on the sprue. I don't think it's going to work. Try zoom in. There you go, a little bit of character there. <laughs> there's, there's the boot for his head. <laughs> it's not even already, it doesn't even already come to uh, come attached to his head. You have to do that yourself if you want that option. Remember, these are all optionals. So there you go, um, Dark, uh, Dark Autumn Scribe. I hope you enjoyed that. That was just for you. Um, please do let me know. If you like these unboxings, please do leave comments in the feedback below. Um, share with your friends, get everyone to subscribe, hit that bell, hit the thumbs up button, the like button, whatever button it is, hit all the buttons. Every little bit helps. And until next time, I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.